Hello, hello there, climbers. This is Scott, the Skincare Sherpa, your friendly neighborhood skincare Sherpa, uh, here to talk to you about climbing, trekking, um, doing whatever you do to a mountain to get to the top of it, one foot in front of the other. And I'm here to help with that. Hopefully, you are finding these recordings helpful. Uh, I want to help you be your guide to creating, uh, to starting and creating a successful skincare brand. I'm in the process of doing that myself. I thought I'd make these recordings so that you could follow along with me, look over my shoulder, see what works for me, see what doesn't work for me, in hopes that it will help you. Today, I want to talk about some more fun stuff. Uh, the last recording was about packaging, packaging and packaging design for the product. And today, let's talk about logo design. It's one of those things that um, that people typically take very personally. You know, you want that logo to be a representation of yourself and your brand, and you, you really take a lot of pride in it. And I'm here to hopefully make that process easy. But I also want to say don't get too crazy about it. I started to get crazy about it myself just trying to make sure I had the perfect, perfect, perfect logo when at the end of the day, it just needs to be good enough to get the first minimal viable product out there. So let's just shoot for 80% because, you know, you can get paralyzed by trying to make everything perfect, overanalyzing things and get paralyzed by decision making. And I want to make sure that that does not happen. So let's look at a few things that I did when I was creating my logo and some things that I'm uh, that was from first brand and some things that I'm doing now to, to find a good logo for my the uh, Bear Bam, the product that I'm currently working on. So let's jump over here to the first place is going to be a site called Taylor Brands, taylorbrands.com slash logo dash maker and I'll just walk through this uh, I'm going to do it with bear bam and what I want to do is get a logo created and so Taylor Brands has a whole big suite of things that they can do for you they can help you with trademarks they can help you with business formations they can help you with logos they can help you with all these things but right now I'm just trying to um, have them help me with the logo. And so I just put in Bear Bam, the name of the company is what it asked for. I wanted to create a new one. What are you offering? Uh, we're offering physical goods next. And then um, industry is going to be skincare. Yeah. Next. Let's see what we got here while it's thinking. And then here you have the choice of the logo. So it can either be icon based, name based, or initial based. I just, I want to go for Taylor. I mean for um, name based, just to see what it comes up with. And then here I get to choose three styles that I love. So I like a rounded one. I like a textured one. And how about I like this brush? Let's just see what we get. We do those three. Next, see what it get, comes up with this. And now it's going to go through its process. AI is a crazy, crazy thing that's making our lives so much easier nowadays. But it's doing, working its magic and it will spit out some logos here for me. Now see, so this looks great. So there's bear, bam, bear, bam. All these different options that I can choose from here. I'm not seeing anything that's really jumping out on me, so I'll click on see more just to see what else it comes up with. This one is not too bad here, in my opinion. Um, I can see more. And so basically, you can just take a look. I like that one too. And that one looks a little crazy. Uh, this one looks good. That one looks really elegant and high class and luxurious. So I'm going to click on that and then when you click on it, it shows you all the different ways here on the right that it can use it on your website, on your shirt, uh, on your digital business card, on your actual business cards. So it's really great because you get to see what that logo will look like 
in the various settings that you're going to want to use it on, even if you got some swag designed. Looks great on there. And so from here, if you liked it, you just click on love it or you could customize it. So let's just do customize right quick just to show you what it does. So you could change the font, you could change the text, you could change anything that you wanted to change about it. It just gives you the option to make it thinner, make it bolder. You can change the the capitalization of it. So perhaps it's, let's say like I wrote it, let's see what it does. Yeah, so it changes it. I actually like that maybe a little bit better. I don't know, I like the first one as well. But it all looks, yeah, I think I like that one better. But so you don't have to take exactly what the software gives you. You can customize it uh, a little bit as you wanted. And so then you would finish up there. And so what I've done in the past is I've used this logo. So I've had the AI create a logo for me. And then I'll take that to another site that I'll show you just to give them some inspiration so that we're not, so everything is not just starting from scratch. But, or you have the option of getting the logo just here directly from Taylor Brands. That's an option as well. But I like to use something like this just to play around with and see what kind of things it can come up with because it's going to create all kinds of different things for you. Then you can tweak it and use that for inspiration for, for other places and other uh, freelancers or other outsourced or outsourcers that you want to work with. The same type, I'll go on to the next one, the same type of software company, online company is called Logo AI. And they're at uh, logoai.com slash logo dash maker. And get your logo name in here. Let's go ahead and do that. Here, bam, continue. My industry is, is it gonna be here? Um, I don't see it here. Maybe it'll be, a, oh, beauty and spa maybe. Oh, let me go back and I'll do beauty and spa. Let's see. That might bring me something good. And it gives you a color palette here. I kind of like these. Let's go with this warm, joy, enthusiasm, happiness, creativity, determination. It looks good to me. Continue. And just remember that whatever you pick on here now, you don't have to, you're not stuck with it. So it's always, uh, it's always good to remember that, that you can go back and change it. Let's do elegant, generate. And so it will go through its changes here and come up with some options. Well, that's pretty good there. I like that one. That one looks a little technical. Um, some of these are wouldn't be good for a skincare product, but some of them would be. And if you go through here and you don't like them, let's say see more logos again, like the other one, it'll make some more for you. It'll keep on and keep on. It, it, it can come up with endless options for you to make sure you find something that you like. Out of all of these, I'm liking this one seems the softest and the best for a skincare product. But again, you can go through and change the colors, the fonts, whatever the symbol is, and customize it however you would like. And so that's a good option too to play around with. And again, here you find one that you like, let's say you really like this one, then you can either purchase it from here at Logo AI or just take a screenshot of it and to show it to someone else so that they can tweak it a little bit more or just re replicate it. And then I'll show you here one last one that's along the same line, Luca, company name that's at Luca, L-O-O-K-A.com. And let's go bear a bam, bear a bam, get started. And here, let's see what Luca comes up. Pick your industry. My industry is gonna be skincare. Yeah, continue. And pick some logos you like. Oh, I like that one, it has a flower in it, just for the fun of it. And I like blues, continue continue skincare continue and let's see what Luca comes up with oh yeah now see these since it knows it since it was in the skincare category it, it had it's doing a little bit better job of 
creating some that are seem feel more skincare related this one is nice looking nice and elegant this one here with the face could work the, the flower there i don't want to sign up i'm just going to keep continuing as a guest there we go um and so yeah these are there are several more options for you here and you could play around with this for hours and hours and hours trying to find something that um, that you liked and like i said same here take one of these logos and give it to someone else to this one's really nice to create for you or use it just as it is the next thing i wanted to show you is a site called 99design so it's the number 99designs.com and this is a great site i've used them before and what they do a little bit different than other sites well the first ones that i showed you were just ai generated so they just the, the the computer just comes up with um logo for you and they're great but this one is by real people they're by designers and so it asks what do you need design i'm going to go on logo design and what 99 designs does is you have two different options here um and the one that i have used uh, primarily is this one here where they they run a competition for you and so it is let's see what it is yeah here we go it's a contest with all the designers from around the world and so they all put in different logo designs trying to win the contest and when they win the contest they win the money that you that you have paid or a part of the money that you've paid and so it really is a good way to get a lot of different options to choose from um, the, the AI gave some stuff, but these are going to be real people. You, you let them know what you're looking for in the design, what kind of font you want, the feeling you want, a little bit about your company. And hundreds of people try to create a, a design that you're going to like. And when they do that, they post it there. Then you have the option of going in, picking the ones that you like, and then asking them to tweak it a little bit or picking a final design, or picking a final person and then making, customizing it, making changes to it that you would want. And so I've done that before and it's it just a, a good way. It was the way that I did it before there was AI generating these images for you. I'd be, I'm curious to know how much it's impacting the, the designers here on 99designs because the AI gives you unlimited designs as well. And it's probably a little bit of a cheaper option but these are real people and they do great work on here and they're all trying to trying to win your win the contest and, and win the money the other option is that you can just pick a designer that you like put some uh, give some details about what you're looking for and then you're presented with some designers you can see their portfolios and pick a designer that you would want to work with moving forward and so it's a, it's a one-on-one -on -one project as opposed to one to many when it is the contest. It's a really great way to go and a, a way to get some really, really good designs because these are professional graphic designers and artists who will be competing competing to win your to win your contest. And then my all time favorite, Fiverr. You can't go wrong here with Fiverr um F I V E R R dot com. And so what I'm looking for service, so I want to get a logo design. And here I use Fiverr for all kinds of things all the time. And so here under logo design, you just take a look for who looks like they're reasonably priced and has done good work and they have their, their images here. And so they have it here for if you want to spend under 25, 25 to 50 different price categories. And you will notice that, you know, the people who are charging less are not as good, in my opinion, as the ones who are charging more. Like this one here looks really good. Um, the design just looks great. Um, but there's nothing, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with these uh, under 25 people. You just have to do a little bit of research and find somebody that matches your design aesthetic and matches your pocketbook and so this gig here has over a thousand um, reviews which makes me feel that this person knows what they're doing i'm going to click in here just to see 
how it looks and see take a look at their portfolio and all of these look really really great um, and but the thing that you have to remember when you're in here is the price that they give you on the front is based is, uh, on the other page is their basic package and so that's only one logo concept source files vector formats and all these other things but if you want more than one something to choose something to choose from you either need to get the standard package the price goes up and that's only two logos and the premium package is only three logos for $195 when I'm making this recording. So it's, you know, the AI is a much better way. So what you could do is you could get the AI that gives you many more options and then copy that AI image, come to this gig here, and then you could, you could get away with doing one because you've already picked the one that you like the best from the, all the AI generated ones and then tell this person that you want to make that logo look like they make these logos is really it says 100% original work with hand drawing you give them your logo then they hand draw it and so you could get away with the the one logo concept otherwise you're getting three logos here for that $195 considerably more expensive but it would probably be worth it and but in this situation you're only getting three Whereas with the 99 designs, the contest, you'll get, you could, you could get hundreds, 50 to 100, just depends on who's interested in that, in that contest, many more than three for sure. And then with the, the AI generated ones, you get un unlimited ones. But so you can use the AI to create it, give you some ideas, and then use those to come back here to Fiverr to try to find someone who can do it at a price that you would like. The other thing that I, so I always, I like to look at the star ratings. I obviously look at the price and look at how many reviews that they have. And then I also, I'll click into this one just to take a look. I also want to pay attention. So this one's, see that one, they're doing it for $20, but, and that's only one concept. By the time you get up to four concepts, it's already jumped to $80 and four isn't really that many. But the other thing I like to look at is the days of delivery. I don't want to rush them, but I do don't want something that's going to take forever to get done. And then also I like to look here at the number of orders in the queue. Just gives me a sense of how backlogged this designer is and lets me you know helps me decide whether I want to risk them being a little late. Mostly you have time to do this when I've done it before. The product has been getting manufactured and I, I have time, so waiting two days or even an extra two days is not that big a deal. I can get a little impatient sometimes when it comes to this fun, creative design stuff. You know, it makes me feel like I'm doing something uh, because when it's getting manufactured, everything's out of my control. But I also need to get things done quickly because without the logo, you can't work on the website and you can't get images created for certain things. And you can't create a Facebook page or whatever you want to do with the image. Uh, the logo, I, I want it sooner than later. I feel like that can be a roadblock sometimes. But so the quicker you can get it, these are my opinion, the quicker I can get it, the better. And so I, and so like I said, I like to use a combination of all of these things. And then that really helps me get things done quicker and helps me be a lot more clear with the designers that I'm working with and they appreciate it. It's hard for them. And I just say, hey, my company's Bear Bam is a skincare. Make me a logo that I'm going to like. And they are kind of stuck with, OK, well, we have no idea what you like. So if at all possible, try to narrow things down and help the designer as much as you can. All right. So with that, I will leave it there for today and for the logo design. I will keep coming back and back and back with more and more recordings for you. Recordings where you can look over my shoulder. That is the point of all this. If you um, want to get a document that has all of these websites on them, these resources, I'm creating a living document that you can find at the health, uh, the skincare sherpa.com. The skincare sherpa.com. Pop your email address in there and I will shoot you over the link to the document that has all of these resources on it for you so that you can have them handy whenever you want to do them. 
And so that you don't have to find these resources on your own or go and do research and try to find good ones. I found these. They're great. I've used them and I think you'll be happy with them. Also, if you are watching this on YouTube, do me a favor, please, and step on that like button and stomp on the subscribe button. All these climbing references that I'm trying to work in here. Yeah, stomp, smash, whatever you need to do to like and subscribe. That helps me. That lets you know when I'm releasing extra videos. And for me, apparently it helps with the algorithm. So I'm all about the algorithm and, and helping people and, and having my videos be more discoverable to more people. And so with that, I will leave you until the next time. I encourage you to keep climbing. I hope there's not too much information. These are short bite-sized recordings for you to go in and not just to watch, you know, video after video after video, but for you to actually watch a video and then take it two, three, four, five days a week or two to actually do the research that I'm showing you because it's, it can't be done quickly. You know, these are things that take time to do. So hopefully you are doing that. Hopefully you are finding it helpful. And with that, I will say let's keep climbing.